Guys, ghouls, ghosts, girls, my name is Gritty and welcome to the Spooky Corner. And today I'm going to be telling you the scary story of the clown statue. Our story begins in a nice neighborhood where a wealthy family is in need of a babysitter to watch their two kids for the night. So this wealthy family calls over a 16 year old babysitter. When the girl arrives, they give her a tour of their huge house. This girl is in love. The house is gigantic, it's awesome. She's gonna get paid today. So when the tour is over, the parents are about to head out, but they ask the babysitter for one thing. They ask if she would watch TV in their room after the kids go to bed. Because the kids have been having nightmares about clowns. So the babysitter's like, yeah, sure, I don't care, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm wherever you want me to be. So the parents leave. She entertains the kids for a while, feeds them, and sends them off to bed. Now while the kids are off in bed, the babysitter makes another round around the house, checking out all the cool stuff that these people got. And she finally makes her way back to where she's supposed to be, in the parents' room. Now before she steps in the room, she notices something that catches her eye. Something in the corner of the room. And that something is a clown. <laughs> now she kind of freaks out until she realizes that it's just a clown statue. It's just a statue of a clown. Standing about five feet tall. But reluctantly, she goes in the room. She does what she's told to do, even though she's a little creeped out. As she sits on the bed, she cannot help but stare at this clown. Because it looks as if the clown is staring at her. But she decides it's just a statue, it's just a statue. Let me watch TV and forget about this. Let me just block this out. Well, that only works for a little while because her gaze shortly goes back upon the clown. This clown is just like any other ordinary clown. Super white face and a painted on grin. But what this girl notices is that even though the clown has a painted grin on, the actual lips of the clown were not grinning at all. It actually looked as if the clown was frowning. And the eyebrows of the clown were arched as if the clown was angry. Now upon this realization, the babysitter got a chill down her spine and some goosebumps on her arms. Now right there, I'd have been out of there, in the kitchen, eating up all their food, forgetting about any kind of clown. And she's like, yo, no wonder your kids are having nightmares about clowns. You guys got a clown in your room. Duh. She decides that she's going to be the good babysitter and do what she's told. So she continues to watch TV. Until she thinks she sees at the corner of her eye the clown blink. She immediately looks over. And the clown is still. Nothing. But what she thinks she sees next is that the clown is in a slightly different position than it was just moments before. So she studies the clown to make sure it's not actually moving. She tells herself, it's just a statue. It's just a statue. You can't move can't hurt me. It must be all a trick in my mind. Until, until she looks a bit closer, 
and sees the clown's stomach moving in and out softly as if it were breathing. That's the final straw. She goes downstairs and calls the parents. And she asks if she can just chill out in the living room and not be in the room. So she's like, hey guys, um, yeah, your kids are fine, but can I not be in your room? And the dad's like, I mean, sure, but why? Um, well, you got that creepy clown statue and it's freaking me out. That's when the babysitter hears nothing but silence on the other end of the phone. The father gives no response until the father speaks up and says, get out of the house right now. And she's like, whoa, whoa, that escalated quickly. Well, what's going on? He says, get out of the house now, grab the kids and go. We don't have any clown statues in the house. So the girl immediately runs up to the stairs. She drops the phone, runs up the stairs, grabs the kids, and bounces out. Now while she's on the corner waiting for help, the parents said they would call the police and they would be right on their way. But as she's waiting for help on the sidewalk, she decides to look up at the parents' bedroom window. And that's when she sees the curtains begin to open. And the curtains revealed the face of the clown statue. The curtains shut and moments later help arrives. The police and the parents bust in the house, guns out, and they're wondering where the clown is. But they don't find no clown. They don't find anything. Until further inspection is done on the house. And they go up to the basement. I mean, <laughs> the basement. Until they search around the house some more and they go up to the attic. And what they find may be more disturbing than the clown itself. They find a blanket with bottles and wrappers on top of it. Which leads them to believe that this clown that visited them tonight may have been there a lot longer than they thought. That must be why the kids were having nightmares about clowns. And that, my friends, was the story of the clown statue. That urban legend has been going around for mad long, and it's one of my favorites. Um, some of them end differently. Some of them end with the kids getting killed. I wasn't really about that. Some of them end with the guy getting caught. But I just thought it would be a lot cooler to have the guy living in the house while nobody knew about it. I thought that was freaky. That would freak me out to know that. But I got two questions about this story before I go. One, why was the clown just like standing in the room for mad long while the girl's just sitting there? I mean, if he was gonna do something, he might as well do it. He just stood there and blew his chance. But I guess it's good because the babysitter didn't die, so that's good. The second question I got is, are the parents like gonna move after that or are they just gonna sit there like idiots? Because if that was me and I had all that money that they supposedly had, I'd be out the next day. I'd have my shit in a U-Haul. I'd be like, out, man. For real. But let me know six feet deep below if you enjoyed the story of the clown statue. I just felt like it was a good time to talk about this story because of how popular the clowns are right now. We got it in the theaters, biting kids' arms off, blowing out box office records. I haven't seen the movie yet. I can't wait to see it. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it. I love the original, so I can't wait to see this one. And then we got American Horror Story Cult on TV with the crazy clowns running around killing people in their homes. It's awesome. I'm just not a fan of Twisty though. Honestly, side note, like quick side note, I'm not a fan of Twisty. I don't think he's scary at all. 
He kind of reminds me of Cynthia from Rugrats, you know, the doll with the stupid hair. That's what he reminds me of, so he, he's just, he's not scary. So, I don't know, he, he just never, if you're a Twisty fan, then more power to you, brother. That's all the time I got today for the Spooky Corner. Make sure you subscribe for more, and make sure you tune in next time for some more spooky stuff.